Relate hundreds and decimals. Here we have a model divided into 100 parts. This model has 10 rows and 10 columns. Each part represents 100th. We can write one part as a fraction, 100th. We can also write it as a decimal using the place value chart. We put a zero in the ones column, a zero in the tens column, and a one in the hundredths column. So one hundredth can be written in two ways, as a fraction and as a decimal. Let's take a look at this number line. This number line is a whole, divided into one hundred parts. Each part represents a hundredth. The first point to the right of zero hundredth is one hundredth. Let's write one hundredth in two ways, as a fraction and as a decimal. Label the number line with decimals that are equivalent to the fractions. Zero hundredths, ten hundredths, twenty hundredths, thirty hundredths, and so on. Let's try an example. Write the fraction and the decimal shown by the model. This model is divided into 100 equal parts. 68 parts are shaded. Each part represents 100th. So we have 68 hundredths. We can write 68 hundredths as a fraction and as a decimal. Let's try another example. Write the mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. This time we have one whole model and 34 parts out of 100. We can write this using a mixed number, 1 and 34 hundredth. We can also write it as a decimal, 1.34 or 1 and 34 hundredths. Let's try another example. Write the fraction and the decimal shown by the model. We have a number line that has been divided into 100 equal pieces. Each piece represents 1 hundredth. To find the red dot, we start from 30 hundredths because it's easier than starting from 0 hundredths. One by one, we add 1 hundredths to 30 hundredths until we reach the red dot. We get 37 hundredths. We can write 37 hundredths as a fraction and as a decimal. Let's try another example. Write the mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. We see that this number line starts from 6 and ends at 7. The number line is divided into 100 equal parts. Each part represents a hundredth. To find the red dot, we start counting from 6 and 40 hundredths because it's closer than 6. One by one, we add 1 hundredths to 6 and 40 hundredths until we reach the red dot. We get 6 and 46 hundredths. We can write 6 and 46 hundredths as a mixed number and as a decimal. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.